I'm going to ask a question I already know the answer to, but they said that's okay to do. No, that's all right. <laughs> I probably won't know the answer either. I think you will. <laughs> I'm going to assume you're extremely familiar with the Open Records Act of 1982. I am. I wrote it. Um, I'm, I'm very well aware of that. But I, I wanted to give you a chance to say it out loud. Okay. You're familiar with the nickname Sunshine Roy? Yes. What does that mean? Well, I've always been a big advocate of uh, uh, of open meetings and open records, and I think there have been too many exceptions passed. I always recognized there were exceptions unto, uh, for certain things, acquisition of real property, the attorney-client privilege and all that, uh, but I always wanted to closely consider and closely limit those over the years. And I, I wrote the one in 82, and I also, well, the first year I was governor, I'm getting there. 99. Yeah. Had a, an amendment to it. 1999. Yeah. You, the, one of the very, very first things you did as governor was amend the Open Records Act. It, well, it was the Open Meetings Act. Sorry. There was, also, there was also part of that legislation was what I'm going to refer to in layman's terms as the three-day rule. Is that right? Yes. Um, why three days? Why not three? We thought that three days was sufficient. We didn't want something just to get lost. Uh, and so what we did, we said that uh, we ought to know where we, if somebody ought to know where they stand within three days. Mm -hmm. Now that didn't, didn't mean that you have to produce the document, and particularly if it was privileged or some other reason to a later time. Uh, but you did have to make some response within three days because we had testimony that, you know, they were six months. In, 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 your, in your opinion, no response, say, within 35 days would be against that? It depends on whether there was something that uh, was responsive to it. If you put wouldn't, an open wouldn't, record, wouldn't you be required to answer there is no responsive document? It's the better practice, but I don't believe, I believe the courts have held it's not a violation. If, you, if it is not, if there's nothing to produce, for example, if you had sent me an open records request, please give me uh, uh, all documents concerning the acquisition of some parcel, of, uh, some real parcel of land, uh, reality. And we didn't make, and that was privileged, that is, if you don't disclose until after you acquire it, uh, then uh, just because, I mean, uh, I didn't, I wouldn't have, it would be the better practice to say, I'm not going to produce certain documents, but I don't believe it's a violation not to do it if it is not subject to that. And by better practice, could one interpret that as by saying, hey, it's not illegal, but it could be unethical if it's uh, you're not following the better practice. I don't know how. See, that's where I, I have a little problem. I don't know how you find something. Uh, a violation of ethics does, does not violate a statute or a standard. All right. How about if somebody just never answered that open records request? Would you think that would be illegal or unethical? It depend on the circumstance. It would depend on whether there was a response that was due under it. That is something that should have been produced. So it would be your opinion that if someone did not answer at all and then later there was found a document that did fit the request that that would be illegal or unethical I'd have to have more facts okay. to be able to give you an opinion as to that but I will tell you that uh, matters of legal advice matters of economic development do not have to be produced in my opinion until the job deal is complete interesting comment you said that have to, you'd have to know more facts yes. isn't that sometimes what a hearing is for is to learn more facts I'm not going to comment on that. I All mean, right. sometimes I, I they, you could have a lot. I used to excuse the legislature of having hearings just to see the self on TV. But I, <laughs> well, I don't know. I'm going to tell you, with, with the lighting in this place, I look 88 years old and slightly green, and that is not we my need goal. A makeup on. Yes. That. <laughs> Thank you very much, Governor. Thank you. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, um, I don't have any more comments and don't have any witnesses, but I would like you to consider that the respondent had an opportunity to bring these issues up at the evidentiary hearing um, and did not. And just when a vote doesn't go in your favor, you don't get a do-over. That'll be the conclusion of my comments. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.